हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेट्रिक ऑस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर सी एस आई आर नेट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड वी आर डूइंग दिस प्रॉब्लम एटी ऑफ योर पेपर इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस एंड इट इज ऑफ पार्ट सी सो लेट एस हैव अ लुक कंसीडर द पावर सीरीज सो वी हैव टू कंसीडर दिस पावर सीरीज एंड द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन से इज रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ एफ जेड इज इन्फानाइट we will read the remaining option later all right so the question talks about the radius of convergence so firstly see this thing what is your fz let us write it properly so we will have summation n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power n z to the power 2n plus 1 over 2n factorial so see if what we want to do if we can take this z outside of it then what will happen let us open it see open this series now what will happen we will get minus 1 to the power 0 it means 1 z to the power 0 means 1 over 2n factorial so it will be 1 minus second term will be minus because you will have 1 now on the power you will get 2 over 2 factorial then you will get i think for the when n is n is equal to 2 you will get power is equal to z to the power 4 by 4 factorial then you will get z to the power 6 by 6 factorial so see you know this expansion very well all right so it is the expansion of cos z so this is what we needed it's a very important catch for this problem we can write your fz all right so it doesn't matter what your z is your fz is going to converge over here all right so cos z has this expansion for all z belongs to r are you getting my point cos z has this expansion for all z belongs to r that means whatever z you will choose this function or you can say this power series will always converge to z cos z that means radius of convergence of fz is infinite because z sorry Uh, i should write z belongs to c all right it was my mistake z belongs to c so that is why radius of convergence will be infinite why radius of convergence is infinite because you can take any z so there is no finite radius after which this series diverges it it converges for every z that is why radius of convergence is infinite we don't need to use any cos root cauchy root test or whatever test you have to find out the radius of convergence we don't need that in this problem because we can easily see that this power series converges to z cos z on any condition for z all right so one is correct second one says that uh, if they replace this z with x then this set is bounded so now let us try to do this second problem so what is fx such that x belongs to r let us study this set so it will be according to this it will be the same thing will be replaced by x instead of z you will have x so that is why you will get x cos of x such that x belongs to r are you getting my point so you are getting this set now we have to talk about this set whether this set is a bounded set or not all right so see what i will do i will just take uh, we know that we know that cos x takes value 1 when n is or uh, not sorry and not n when x is a multiple of 2 pi that means at 2 n pi for all n belongs to uh, z you got cos x as 1 you know that yes we know so x all right i will put x is equal to 2n pi this will imply 2n pi cos 2n pi is equal to 2n pi 2n pi that means this 2n pi element belongs to this set for every n all right so 2n pi goes inside this set let us name this set as set a for all, for all n all right now we know that 2n is actually a divergent sequence it means when n goes to infinity this number is going to be very big so because we are getting an infinite number all right uh, this is a divergent series that is why how can this set be bounded you got my point or not let us repeat everything whatever we have done 
we are given with this set and the question is asking whether this set is bounded or not what we used we used this this thing whatever we have done in the part one and using this we wrote it as x cos x we know cos x is 1 when x is 2 and pi so if i place x is equal to 2 and pi your element inside this set will be 2 and pi itself now 2 and pi is not bounded that is why your set is not bounded all right so i hope now the explanation is clear now let us move to option number third now see what is happening over here your fx is like this and your x is in between minus 1 and 1 all right so what is your fx according to the proof that we have done earlier in the part one it will be x cos x such that minus 1 x is in between minus 1 and 1 now you know that x cos x is less than equal to mod x why because cos x can take only value maximum value for cos x is 1 that is why all right that is why we will get this that x cos x is less than mod x now what is the value of mod x over here mod x is 1 all right because x is in between minus 1 and 1 so x cos x is bounded by 1 because x cos x is bounded by 1 therefore this set let us name it as a is your bounded set are you getting my point so because you are restricting your x that is why you are getting x as a bounded set so third option has to be correct let us talk about the fourth option now fourth option tells us that fz has infinitely many zeros now see what we have f fz is z cos z so what i will do if i place z is a complex number so if i place this complex number is equal to 2n minus 1 pi by 2 this cos part will give us 0 now because this cos part is giving us 0 this will imply f of 2n minus 1 pi by 2 this is 0 for all n belongs to natural number all right so for all z we are getting that f of 2n minus 1 pi by 2 is 0 so this happens for every natural number so that is why it has to have infinitely many zeros so finally we proved that third is also correct and fourth is also correct so the incorrect option for this problem is this only that second one so question was asking the true option so we will mark now first is correct this is incorrect third is correct and fourth is also correct all right if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video from there you can join all right so thank you